people want to hear some Polish. You can't have a Polish wedding without polka music! No, would you leave it alone? Keep your hey, fucking hands. How can you have a Polish wedding without any fucking Polish music? Keep your fucking hands off my equipment. Like I said before, it ain't a Polish wedding without a polka. <laughs> mind literally creates our body. So it all starts in the cell. The cell is a protein producing machine, but it gets its signal from the brain. One of the things about receptors is they change in their sensitivity. If a given receptor for a given drug or internal juice is being bombarded uh, for a long time at a high intensity, it will literally shrink up there will be less of them, or it will be hooked up in such a way that it is desensitized or downregulated. So the same amount of drug or internal juice will elicit a much smaller response. Bombarding the cell with the same attitude and the same chemistry over and over again on a daily basis, when that cell finally decides to divide, when it produces a sister cell or a daughter cell, that next cell will have more receptor sites for those particular emotional neuropeptides and less receptor sites 
for vitamins, minerals, nutrients, fluid exchange, or even the release of waste products or toxins. Now, all aging is a result of improper protein production. What happens when we age? Our skin gets, loses elasticity. Well, elastin is a protein. What happens to our enzymes? We don't digest as well. What happens to our synovial fluid? Those are proteins that become brittle and stiff. What happens to our bones? They become thin. So all aging is a result of improper protein production. So then the question arises, does it really matter what we eat? And does nutrition really have an effect if the cell doesn't even have the receptor sites after 20 years of emotional abuse to even receive or to let in the nutrients that are necessary for its health? Okay, guys, it's time for a course correction on our trajectory along the path of our adventure. And that course correction is the movement to a new paradigm, just an expansion of the old, just as the universe is larger than we thought it was in our modeling. And it's always larger than we think it is. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? If thoughts can do that to water, imagine what our thoughts can do to us. No one has ever came along and ever given you sufficient, intelligent knowledge about your beautiful self, how you work from the inside out. Why do you have addictions? Because you have nothing better. You have dreamt of nothing better because no one has ever taught you how to dream better. <laughs> do I think that you are bad? I don't think you're bad. Do I think you're good? I don't think you're good either. I think you're God. In general, the field of psychiatry really doesn't allow for enough freedom of action on people's part, meaning an awful lot of problems, not all of them, to be sure, but an awful lot of problems get, that get labeled as psychological problems really amount to people making rotten choices and they ought to be instructed to make different ones. Can I? Wow. Uh, borrow some toothpaste. When I talk about we disappearing, I don't mean that we physically disappear. What I mean is, is that we move out of the area of the brain that has to do with our personality. <laughs>